gotcha! These days, with all that's involved in filmmaking, actors, sets, costumes, special effects, it's easy to overlook the little guy of cinema, our trusty, unsung hero, the film prop. A good prop can help a film's believability, while a bad one can pull you out of the experience. Brent, we're moving on. That cardboard headstone tipped over. The, this graveyard is obviously phony. Nobody will ever notice that. Props come in many shapes and sizes. They can be large or small or really small. They can be weapons, knives, food, drinks, personal possessions, weapons, drugs, sporting equipment, musical instruments. Did I mention weapons? But props can be so much more than just objects in your scene. Great props can transcend the boundaries of the films they're in and become legendary icons of cinema and pop culture. They can show the progress of mankind or reveal the hidden beauty of the world. A prop can be used as an opener for your film or set you up for a sequel. A prop can draw you into a scene or help you cut to another. A prop can be so important that it's in the title of your film. Or it can be the title of your film. A good prop can represent a character. To the point where you can't think about that object without thinking about that character. It can sum up their internal struggles. Or sum up their way of life. So or give you a glimpse into their personality. Which one is it? The one that says bad motherfucker? A prop can show a character's unique gift. A2, A2, A2. Or a character's unique madness. No wire hangers ever! And sometimes a prop can actually be a character in your film. And on rare occasions, a single prop has the power to represent a man's entire life. This is the power of props. They can provide subtle subtext as well as function. You can use a prop to tell without telling. Need to show when someone is not quite human? Trust me. <laughs> or maybe you want to be more subtle, like this scene in Blade Runner. Here, a small object is enough to suggest that Deckard is a replicant. When used like this, props become more than just objects, they become symbols. A symbol that represents a friendship, or a marriage, science, or God. He had never seen anything like this in his life. He wondered why the gods had sent this thing down to the earth. A prop can be a symbol of reality, or illusion, of the future, or the past. And the same prop can symbolize childhood in one film, but death in another. But death can also be symbolized like this. In The Godfather, Coppola associates death with something unexpected, oranges. This isn't the kind of thing that's in the foreground of filmmaking, but it's there if you're looking for it much like this scene in The Shining. It's not until repeated viewing that you realize the TV is on, but it's not actually plugged in. But props aren't always relegated to subtext. Christopher Nolan uses certain objects to actually move his plot forward, but even then, they are still symbols that support the theme. Because a watch makes perfect sense for a film about time travel and a Polaroid makes perfect sense for a film about memory. And of course, aside from the symbolic aspects of props, they are also highly useful. A great filmmaker will use a prop to tell a story and motivate a character <laughs> to send a message of love or a message of hate. Ah! 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 A 
prop can help a character get from point A to point B, or help your characters find what they are looking for. I think I have a match! I'm sure of it! You can even get them out of a tough spot. A prop can be used to provide mystery. We have <coughs> What's in the fucking box? Or solve a mystery. Or create suspense. Six. The prop can create tension by showing us that we are running out of time. It's often done like this. But it can also be done like this. The prop can be used to create fear by showing something without actually showing it. Because the most scary special effect is always the audience's imagination. And as much as a prop can make you scream, it can also make you cry. or make you laugh. The door's way too heavy, sir. Prop can help your characters make an entrance or make an exit and even get back home. Prop can be your hero's strength or weakness. It can be the reason your hero's journey began in the first place. And props make great tools for your actors to express themselves with. An actor can use a prop to show fear or resolve or vulnerability for ingenuity. An actor can use a prop to show his isolation and boredom. Or simply use it to give himself some style. And even as something as ubiquitous as a gun, when used uniquely, can become associated with a classic character. You talking to me? Say hello to my little friend! You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Do you, punk? <laughs> and why stop at guns? All sorts of objects can make great weapons. In the end, props are just objects but objects are things everyone can relate to. They are things we can hold ourselves, and when we see characters doing the same, it's a mutual experience that draws us into their experience. So if you're a screenwriter or a filmmaker, don't forget that the objects in your scene can be just as important as everything else, and it's something your audience won't be looking for. So use this to your advantage, because the greatest trick the prop ever pulled was convincing the world didn't exist. <laughs>